Check-in supervisor Jane Bolton has a mission. In the next 24 hours, 20,000 people will pass through Luton Airport. It's Jane's job to make sure they do, provided they're on time. For the self-confessed ogre of the airport, bossiness is her business. Ten no-shows. So are you for Amsterdam? Yeah. Do you want to go back into it and I'll do this? I've still got to put on my car. I have not realised that. We won't be able to check you in then, sir, because I've actually boarded in the right, flight not... now. Well, I need the flight. We can't, we can't check you in if you haven't parked the car because I've already started boarding. That's not good enough. Well, you're going to be here in ten minutes. Well, that's up to dispatch the guys that are in charge of the aircraft as to whether they'll well, accept you. you, but I doubt it very much, not at ten, in ten minutes' time. Well, it's, a, it's 20, 20 minutes to the flight. Yes, but at 20 minutes before the flight we close okay. it, and we're actually late already, that's the problem. If you are too late, we'll have to transfer you on to the next one, but we'll have to sort that out when you get what here. That? It's not until late. Can I you? No, I can't, I can't hold anything, because I'm always all over the place, I'm afraid. Okay. But the next one isn't until half past two this afternoon. Oh, Christ, I need to be there. Businessman John Hill is off to park his car. He thought airport staff would do it, but he hadn't pre-booked the service. There's going to miss it. Departures, Amsterdam check-ins, no way. They've already started boarding. He'll get on that now. He won't even be back before the flight's gone. Down on the ground, boarding's already begun for John Hill's flight. Hi, Pete, it's Jane. I don't know how far you are through the board, and I've got a male here that was um, parking the car earlier. Is there any possibility of accepting? I've got meetings in Amsterdam. Negative. OK, well, thanks anyway. I've got meetings in Amsterdam. Okay. He's in charge of the aircraft, so he said no. I'm here. I mean, it's... He's in charge of the aircraft, so it's nothing Well, this is only because do. of your airport and the, the lack of valley parking. The yeah, I understand that, but as That's why I always I've park. I've done my job for you and I can't yeah, get I'm you sorry, on that Well, is there anybody else? No. I'm huh? just Can you ask him again? I've got a I'm meeting in Amsterdam. I'm not allowed to ask Sorry, I've got a meeting in Amsterdam. Yeah, but you're not listening to me. You're not understanding what I'm saying. I've rang dispatch, I've rang departures, and I've also rang the guy who's on the aircraft in charge. I would have been here in time if you're valet parking at this airport. I understand that, but you're not listening to me. Yes, I understand what you're saying. Can you ask him again? I'm please? not allowed to ask him again, sir. If he said no, he said no, and that's it. Uh, I mean, I'm here, I've got no baggage. I understand what you're and saying. And I've got meetings in Amsterdam. I've got meetings in Amsterdam. I can't argue with I bought with EasyJet because I've had no problems because they've always been brilliant in the past. Yeah. Even when the flight was delayed, we got a refund on the on the tickets. Yes, I can understand You're, you're that, preventing me from saying... doing this. Right, how do I get hold of your... Uh, who's your boss? My boss, my yeah. supervisor. Well, who's, how, how do you get hold of Stianos, the, the chairman of EasyJet? Stelios. I'm going to miss my meetings in Amsterdam. I'm not impressed. And I've, I've flown EasyJet lots of times. I've, I've always thought they were wonderful. I've stood up um, for them to people who said they're crap. I go with the other people now. I'm not oh, I did try. <laughs> I did tell him. John Hill has missed his flight. Now he wants his money back. Sorry, sir, we don't actually give refunds. Sorry, I want a refund. Late for your I, I was on time for my flight. flight. The arrangements at this airport were what caused the problem. Right. Unfortunately, I can't give you I'm a refund. I'm sorry. The only thing I could do is call a supervisor yeah, and speak to you, but going to tell you... And they're going to tell me exactly the same thing. No one enjoys getting shouted at, but um, it's one of the things. It gets aggravating when someone just keeps going on and on and on, and you've obviously you've tried and you've explained the situation and they won't take no for an answer, then it does... It gets to you a little bit, but, you know. Right, how do I get hold of uh, the chairman of EasyJet? I'm not... He, 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 puff, he, no, he puffs himself and his airline up so much. OK. EasyJet to forget me as a customer. Finish. And the calming colours seem to have been rubbing off on John Hill. It's not EasyJet's fault entirely. It's not... It, it, it's largely Luton Airport's fault for making the, the, the valet parking pre-booking only. I suppose I could have left half an hour earlier, but I'm, you know, I was up at 5 anyway. I'm not going to get up 4.30 for a day that's going to finish about 11 tonight. Um, that, that, that makes it a very long day. A day that's due to get even longer. John's heading to Heathrow to try his luck with another airline. John Hill swallowed his pride and has flown with EasyJet since missing his flight. 